Hello to everyone and uh, welcome. We are delighted to, to welcome you to this uh, roundtable that we call Sciences for the Environment, Career Opportunities in Green Biotechs, which is organized by the MASC and in very close collaboration with Amandine Vinicourt, who is CEO and Director of uh, Adoc Talent Management and who will, um, for the first time in a MASC event, moderate this roundtable. So, Amandine, thank you again for your help and uh, to share with us your expertise today. And of course, um, I also would like to address another very warm thank to our guest speakers. Uh, so thank you for accepting our invitation and uh, for sharing your, your experience. Um, as we said, for uh, two of you, it's uh, the second time now. So uh, thank you again. It's always great to see that you, you, you want to come back. Uh, and before we start, um, just a few words uh, for those who don't uh, know us yet. So I'm Marion Guessou and a career advisor at The Mask, which is um, the Institut Pasteur Career Development Office. And one of our main mission is to provide career guidance for Pasteurian scientists, so for master and PhD students, postdocs, permanent researchers and engineers. So briefly, this program is a mix between individual interviews, collective workshops and uh, events like this one to help you to clarify your professional projects and to develop your strategy to reach your goals. So if you want to know more about it, do not hesitate uh, to contact us at mask at pastor.fr. And I won't do more um, advertising um, for now. Um, I have another very warm thank to all the MASK team uh, who were also very involved in the organization of this uh, round table. Uh, so uh, thank you very much to Morgan Grand, uh, Karine Houdon, uh, and also Mariana um, and Aja that we saw from which are, who are with us today. And um, unfortunately, Aja couldn't stay, but uh, we all are here. And um, actually, we, with my colleagues, we, um, we perceived that more scientists that we guide have uh, this um, sensitivity and uh, the strong desire to take actions for the planet and uh, contribute to a challenge that we are facing. And that's the reason why we wanted um, to focus today on the green biotech sector because it seems that um, it's growing strongly. And I will very soon uh, leave the floor to Amandine, who will start with the presentation of the landscape and uh, present the career opportunities in this field. And then she will moderate the discussions with uh, our guest uh, speakers. And at the end, uh, we will have the uh, question session. So uh, just as I said um, before, you could uh, uh, ask uh, all the questions uh, uh, at the end of the session, but if you have uh, um, questions in the meanwhile, do not hesitate to, to use the chat. Mm -hmm. um, so please don't be shy. Uh, if, you, if you want to uh, try to, to ask all the questions that you, you always wanted to ask, uh, really try to take this opportunity. And um, if you just for you to know, as we, we register this session, if you, um, if you want to turn on your camera, um, say first your full name because we, we will need later to ask you your permission to use the, the video. So uh, I won't uh, steal any more time uh, to leave the floor to Amandine and uh, our, uh, I'm sure, inspiring uh, guest speakers. Please, Amandine. Well, th <laughs> thanks a lot, Mario, and thanks a lot to the MASC team for the organization of this one table. Um, ba basically, the, the aim is to help you anticipate your career after your PhD or your postdoctoral fellowship and um, I am lucky enough to be the moderator, but also the timekeeper of the session, which is a difficult task. Um, I will just uh, take a couple of seconds to briefly introduce myself so that you, you know also the I I can share with you today. Um, 
I worked at the Pasteur Institute, which it was like uh, 22 years ago. I received a PhD in life sciences uh, 16 years ago, and today, well, if I need to 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 summarize my uh, my career so far, I could say that um, I can consider myself as a seasoned career coach, um, an expert in in talent management and recruitment, and, and an entrepreneur because uh, I co-founded um, ad hoc talent management in uh, 2008 uh, in order to promote the integration of PhDs in the business sector and throughout the, the, the society. And so with my company, we are the first executive recruitment consultancy uh, firm specialized uh, in PhDs. And we have a team of both PhDs and HR uh, professional. Um, we, we assist other companies in their talent acquisition on various positions, uh, R&D, such uh, and uh, positions such as expert scientist project manager but also um, into regulatory aspect business uh, uh, c-level position um, uh, we we work with many sectors and the biotech is is definitely the, the one of the most important one and as marion said even as a consultancy uh, company, we really see this transition uh, with more and more uh, link between biotech and, and green tech. Um, just to 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 other words about the activities we, we have at Adoc Talent Management, we also developed a training department. So um, I, I think when I saw the name in the chat, I I, I, I've already met some of you during uh, training or coaching sessions, and we also uh, have the unique uh, um, laboratory, laboratory internally uh, working on the doctorate. So the laboratory is called the lead laboratory of interdisciplinary studies on the doctorate. Uh, we have uh, one office in Paris, one uh, in Brussels, and another one in Montreal. So really, like the the, the DNA of the company is to promote uh, PhDs throughout the economic fabric, and that's why I'm really delighted delighted to to host this roundtable. And uh, as Marion said, uh, really warm thanks to the three talented PhD who will uh, uh, share uh, their experience and their career with you. Um, I am sharing their LinkedIn profile with you in the chat right, right now so that it's done. And before I I give you the floor, the flow, sorry, um, I, I will share a quick panorama uh, about the sector. So let me share my screen. Okay, hope it works. Let, let me know if it's not the case. Yes. No, it works. It works. Okay. Okay. So I, I I really wanted to keep it uh, brief because the the round table is much more important. But my idea was to share a few insights uh, about the, the, the sector. So first of all, um, definitely uh, we are at a moment where the revolution in the way we have to produce food, energy, chemicals, and so on is really on its way. And we have no choice, basically. Uh, so um, the, the the biotech are really seen as a huge promise to help us on those challenges. And to be honest, it's kind of tough to, to, to really define the frontiers uh, and the boundaries of this sector because it's really at the crossroad between biotech as a tool and green tech as a sector. Uh, but uh, definitely what we, we see is that we can use biotechnology to to develop more sustainable solution in many challenges. So climate change, food security, energy, 
pollution, waste treatment, and so on. So you've probably heard about some of them already, like, for instance, about crops uh, in terms of value proposition, being able to develop disease-resistant crops or crops that are optimized for hot climate or for for lack of water and so on. Uh, it's uh, definitely uh, important for the, the the challenges we ha we have to face. Uh, we, we could talk about uh, pro probiotics, prebiotics, agrochemicals, obviously, um, biofuels, uh, biomaterials, um, bioremediation as well. So you see that basically the needs are here and. It's going fast uh, for several reasons. First, and I think it's something we we have also to take into account, uh, citizens, customers, and businesses have a growing awareness of the need for sustainability. There are some uh, regulation linked to, 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 to sustainability as well, uh, which can help push the sector. There is also a lot of governmental support, at least at the European level, which means that there is funding, financial support for innovation in this sector. And last but not least, because I, I, I think it's also one of the, the, the aspects on which you can uh, promote your talents, is that uh, basically um, a lot of um, technology bricks in terms of biotechnologies are now ready to be implemented uh, in a um, scalable way uh, in the industry. So, for instance, we talk a lot about gen editing, synthetic biology, and so on. So, it means that all the factors are ready to announce uh, this development and to, to allow this development to, uh, to be there. I, I took here 10 applications that are supposed to be among the most important for more sustainable world, but you see that it's really diverse and tonight we are going to, to have testimony on some of those. Uh, uh, so it comes from uh, from cultivated meat up to uh, biopesticides, uh, up to uh, construction materials, bioplastic, obviously, we talk a lot about this one, but uh, many, many different stacks uh, are in fact uh, um, uh, there and we need to find solutions and biotechnologies can help. Um, among the, the the countries that are now ready for the green transition, the green tech transition, and the green biotech transition, uh, the top five are the United States, Sweden, Singapore, uh, Switzerland, and the Netherlands. The Netherlands is especially uh, really in advance in terms of green uh, uh, agronomy and agriculture, uh, for, for instance. Uh, but in France, we also have a card to play in the game, um, especially on the, the biotech uh, side, uh, which is really developed. And um, to, um, I, I, I was thinking while preparing this uh, round table that uh, for you, it's also interesting to, to, um, to be aware of the fact that there are many different fields of research or disciplines that are needed in order to uh, to innovate in the, the green biotech sectors. Obviously, we may think first about maybe uh, uh, molecular or cellular biology or biotechnology, biochemistry and so on, but uh, plant biology is also uh, an important aspect. Uh, bioinformatics is another one, environmental sciences, obviously, chemical engineering, material sciences, data sciences, and artificial uh, intelligence as well, uh, on a lot of aspects on which we we want to 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 optimize, to put more um, intelligence into processes and so on. Um, and um, I think it's probably my last slide, but um, 
um, also while preparing this round table, I was thinking about the main job title because it's something that may, may be difficult for you guys in the public to identify some job, job titles that could fit your profile just after uh, graduating or after a uh, postdoc. Uh, and the one I see the, the most uh, after jumping from academia, like research scientist, R&D engineer, process engineer, bioinformatician, data scientist, project manager, regulatory affairs uh, specialist, uh, business development manager also, uh, uh, especially in the sense of understanding the needs uh, of, uh, of customers and understanding the technology beyond the product also, consultant also. Um, uh, the, the consulting sector is growing really fast and and is linked to the, the, the green tech sector as well. Oh no, I had another slide, I forgot about this one. And so I think this one is my last one. Uh, and Mario asked me if I could share with you some uh, some platforms of jo or job boards or, or, or uh, international uh, association that could help you and identify key players in the, the sector. Um, one aspect that I need to mention is that um, the, the green biotech are either linked to the green uh, tech or the biotech sector. It really depends. And so, um, and, and the biotech in the, the medical sense, because most of the time when we think about uh, biotech, we think about drug development and so on. And some of the, the, the association don't uh, take into account the, the, the green biotech one. They are really linked to, to drug, but it's not the case for all of them. And so the one I mentioned here really have um, a hub dedicated to, to green biotech. So Europa Bio, um, Bio, Biotechnology Industry Organization, which is a really wide one. In France, there is a, uh, an interesting uh, initiative um, of the, the French government uh, to develop more sustainable innovations that it's called Green Tech Innovation, uh, on which you can also find a lot of uh, uh, of uh, deep tech companies and so on. And um, I also shared the, the, the green incubators directory for, for people who, wants, who want to work in France after their, their PhD. And in terms of job boards, obviously you can use uh, the classical ones that uh, you may, may use, such as LinkedIn or Indeed. Uh, you can also use Google and with good keywords, you will find plenty of jobs. Um, in Europe, there's a platform called Jobs That Make Sense, also on which you will find a lot of jobs linked to uh, sustainability. Um, the scientific one, but not only, also a, a lot of things uh, linked to that. 